consider this body in the xy plane and here we have another view of the body with the z-axis pointing upwards and the body is broken up into a set of particles and the force of weight due to gravity acting on each particle is shown and therefore the resultant or total force of weight is equal to the sum of the forces of those weights on each particle from i equals 1 to the number of particles. Now if we take a sum of moments about the y-axis then the moment produced by the force of weight acting on each particle is the moment arm multiplied by the force of weight and the total moment produced is obtained by summing up all these moments. And here we set this equal to the moment arm multiplied by the resultant force. So we expect the resultant is going to act on his body where most of the weight is and produce some moment about y with the moment arm being x bar. Now if we substitute for the resultant force using this expression we obtain the following expression where we have x bar by the resultant force defined by this sum is equal to the total moment produced which is defined by the sum of moments on the right hand side. And now if we divide through by this term we obtain an expression for the centroid for a discrete body. And now if we take the limit as the number of particles approach infinity we obtain a definition of the centroid for a continuous body. So we're integrating x with respect to dfw which is a force of weight acting on an element of the body over the integral over dfw. Now the force of weight can be written as the density by gravity by the volume of a body. So therefore the body with a uniform density and a uniform gravitational field acting on it then the force acting on a differential element is rho g by the volume of that element. And because we're trying to find the centroid of an area, we can take this body as having a uniform thickness or a unit thickness. So therefore the differential volume element having a uniform thickness can be written as the thickness out of the plane by dA being the differential area. And if you substitute this for dV, we obtain rho g by the thickness by dA. And now we can substitute into this expression and we obtain an expression for the centroid as an integral over an area. There'll be x by rho g t dA over the integral of rho g t dA. And as we said for a body with a uniform density and a uniform thickness and a uniform gravitational field we can take these out of the integral and cancel them. And therefore our expression for the centroid is the integral over the area and we're integrating x over dA and that's divided by the integral over the area of the body. And to obtain an expression for the centroid in the y direction, well, you take moments about the x axis. And you'll obtain an integral of y over the area over the integral over the area of the body. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help me reach more students.